Good morning and welcome. Thank you for joining us today for our virtual rhythm circle. I'm Karina Eggleston, Associate State Director for Communications at AARP Michigan, and I'm thrilled to have you all here today. Before we dive in, please tell me, where are you tuning in from? If you'll just place that in the chat, I'd greatly appreciate it. So today we're exploring the incredible connection between music and brain health and its profound impact on our mental well-being, especially when it comes to managing stress. Did you know that this month is National Stress Awareness Month? Stress can significantly affect brain health, leading to various cognitive issues over time. However, research indicates that, that the power of music it serves as an antidote to stress. According to the Global Council on, on Brain Health, music has the potential to stimulate healthy brain activity. As we gear up for our virtual rhythm circle led by the incredibly talented Kevin Boo Joe Jones, let's consider some actionable ways we can integrate music into our lives to promote healthy brain uh, activity. First, don't hesitate to explore both familiar tunes and new, new musical experiences. Whether it's your favorite song from years past or an exciting new genre, music can stimulate your brain and uplift your mood. Next, consider incorporating physical movement into that journey, whether it's dancing to your favorite beats or joining a virtual Zumba class with friends. Moving to music not only provides exercise, but also fosters social connections, a crucial aspect of maintaining mental well-being. And finally, why not try your hand at making music yourself? Joining us today for the virtual rhythm circle, signing, uh, singing in the shower, or picking up a new instrument, engaging in the creation of music can boost self-esteem, enhance cognitive skills, and provide that sense of accomplishment. So before we delve into today's rhythm-filled session with Bujo, I want to highlight an upcoming event that aligns with this theme of holistic health. Starting Thursday, April 11th, AARP Michigan will be hosting a virtual series called Demystifying Diabetes. I recently learned a, a shocking statistic Nine out of 10 adults in the United States on average have prediabetes and don't even know it. Uh, so to that point, our first session in that series is prediabetes, turn it around. That first session um, will feature information and insights into managing and preventing diabetes, important obviously for overall health and well-being. So be sure to check that out. Um, I'll place the link in the chat for more information. So now it is time to kick off today's session with Bujo and Martine. They're here to guide us through an enriching musical experience to lift our spirits and nourish our brains. Kevin and Martine, take it away. Thank you, Karina. And hello, everybody out there. Um, my name is Bujo Kevin Jones. This is my beautiful wife, Martine. And um, she is... Uh, going to help us out again, as usual, um, with our rhythm circle. Um, she is, uh, she's not only my wife, but she's also pretending to be my student. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's, so she's not a professional. Um, and I wanted to have someone that is sort of a student level alongside of me that's willing to learn, uh, learn along with you guys. So, um, the first thing I want to do is to uh, thank AARP of Michigan for having us once more. Um, I'm really loving uh, the continuation of this series. So um, to start out with, let's let's get some basic things, some basic facts out in the open. So do you know what a rhythm is? Just put me on the spot. Yeah, yeah, I just put you on the spot. Do you know? I mean, who knows what a rhythm is? Raise your hand. Oh, I can't see your hands, but anyway. <laughs> so what, what's a rhythm? A rhythm. What does a rhythm mean? Everybody says it in conversation, but um, do you know what a rhythm is? I mean, it's no right or wrong answer. I mean, it's not a test. Like, just blurt it out, anything. <laughs> I'm not ready for this. <laughs> So for, for those of you that don't know what a rhythm is, when it comes to music, it means a uh, means sound or notes um, put together in a sequence that repeats itself over and over again, right? So you may have a rhythm that could be 
three notes long, right? Um, if it repeats itself, just like we have rhythms to our to our daily lives. You know, we get up in the morning at a certain time. Um, say if you work from Monday through Friday, you get up at a certain certain hours. You get ready. You take a shower. Hopefully, um, brush your teeth. Hopefully, <laughs> um, you know, fix breakfast. You, you get out the door and go to work. Come back home, etc., etc., etc. So um, this natural rhythm in the universe and in, in our world that we live in, you know. Um, winter, spring, summer, and fall. That's a rhythm. It's a cycle. So rhythm is a cycle, right? So um, to, to demonstrate that cycle, um, we will um, play some rhythms in a, in a minute. The other word that I wanted to talk about was pulse. What is a pulse? So what is a pulse? You know what a pulse is? A beat. Okay, so See? so we a beat. So, can you demonstrate that yes. for us? What the pulse is? So, okay. So we can start by clapping our hands, right? Keep going. So that's the pulse. And what was I doing? I was playing a rhythm, something I just made up spontaneously. Do go 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 go, da go da go 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 da go go. So the most important thing is that you keep the pulse right, and then learn the rhythm sequence right. So that rhythm had. Just a simple rhythm. I just made it up on the spot. Wasn't anything, there's no uh, tradition to that. So for those of you that don't have a drum, um, please um, continue on. You can grab a container to follow along. Um, you can grab, you can play on a, maybe a TV tray or a table. Um, if you don't have one of these available. Um, and if you do have a drum, you can play, play that. If you, if you prefer just to play something uh, along with us, this is a, a jar, an old jar now of popcorn, real old. So, but for our purposes, it doesn't matter because we're not eating this popcorn in here. It's been a while, around a while. Um, you can... Right? So there's many different drums um, that you could play. I'm a, I'm a percussionist. I play hand drums. I play all the percussion instruments, drum set. Um, and But I really love playing African drums and drums from the Caribbean. Um, congas. Uh, this one is a, is a drum I got uh, recently. Um, Ngoma from Congo. And the drums that we have in front of us um, are called djembe, djembe drums. So today we're going to start out with a rhythm that we've done before. Um, pretty simple rhythm to learn. Um, and um, it's called fanga, F-A-N-G-A. F -A 
F-U-N-G-A, Fanga. It was made popular um, um, by uh, Babatunde Olatunji. Um, um, it's a mixture of sort of rhythm from Liberia and Nigeria, um, but it's, it's a fun rhythm. It's a welcome rhythm and very widely played um, around the world, as a matter of fact. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is if you do have a djembe drum or a conga, conga drum, a djembe, conga, whatever you have in front of you, um, you want to know that there's three basic sounds of the drum. These sounds are tone, bass, and slap. Tone, bass, and slap. So, how do we make those sounds? Uh, we make those sounds by uh, the tone sound, starting out with tone sound. You want to place your hand flat on the drum, like so. And what you want to do is to come down and the energy and focus of your energy when you strike the drum is right in here. This part of your hand, right here, from the pad of your hand all the way up through the first knuckle right here. So you want to come down and immediately come off of the drum like so. Try your other hand. One. Very good. So now, the bass sound. The bass sound is obviously, it's called bass, so it's the low sound, low frequency sound that you can get out of the drum. Um, another thing you wanna do too is, if you have a djembe or a conga, you wanna keep your drum um, sort of between, hold it with your knees, your legs, um, and tilt it forward slightly. You don't have to go all the way here like this, but just tilt it slow, uh, forward slightly so the sound can come out of the bottom of the drum, okay? So we're gonna play a bass sound now. So we had tone, now we're playing bass. So the bass sound, you wanna hit the drum, strike the drum with your palm and all of your fingers. From the heel to the palm, basically, like so. So try that. Try your other hand. Very good. So now we have tone, bass, and the last one is slap. So there's several different types of slaps that you can play. Um, however, this one is called an open slap. And what you're basically doing is instead of focusing your energy here, you're focusing your energy on your fingertips. And you want to come down. It's almost like uh, your hand is almost like a whip action. So try that. So what you want to do is you want to come down here first mm -hmm. and then with your fingertips, right? So this doesn't get much, this doesn't strike the drum that much, mm -hmm. okay? There you go. Try your other hand. Ooh. Nice. Very good. So that's tone, bass, and slap. So now, 
to onto the rhythm, the rhythm called Fanga, F-A-N-G-A. Now we've done this a couple of times before, but I assume that there are some new people um, that have joined us today. And also it would be for those that um, are joining us on a regular basis, this is a good review, okay? So we'll play, we'll play this, we're gonna learn this now. Um, very important thing about music, music involves memorization and counting. And this is the part of uh, learning how to play an instrument that's very important to brain health. Um, I often have troubles because I had, I had a brain injury myself. I also often have trouble uh, with remembering things, <laughs> uh, lots of things. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. It's all good. It's all good. So um, this rhythm is actually has eight notes. Okay. So um, we're going to learn the first half, the first four notes, and then the last four notes. Okay. So the first note that we're going to play is a bass sound. I do it with my right hand. Okay. So if you play Good. Bass. 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 Good. Now we're going to play three tones, but the sequence, the rhythm, is a little bit syncopated. So if we're playing, if the pulse is here, we're playing the bass on the first note. And we're gonna play bass, bass. So I'm playing two with my left, two tones, and then a tone with my right. Bass, three, four. So repeat after me. Bass. Okay, let's try that together. One, two, three, four. Bass. One, two, three, again. 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 Very good. So we have bass. So how many how many notes was that? Can you count? Okay, so yeah, four notes. One, two, right? One, one, two. Okay, so now to the next four notes, the next half of the rhythm. We're going to play two basses and two tones. So everybody follow me. Bass, bass. One, two, repeat after me. Bass, bass. Space, 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 space
bass, 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 very good. So we're going to play the first part, bass, and then the second part, bass, bass, okay? So look, when we put them together, it sounds like this. One, two, three, four. Bass, bass, bass. One, two, now with me. And bass, bass, bass. One, two, ready with me. And bass, bass, bass. One, two, Ready with me and bass. Bass, bass. One, two, ready with me and bass. Bass, bass. One, two, very good. Now, bass, bass. One, this time we're going to continue. One, two, ready, continue. Bass, bass, bass. So now, what we're going to do is, um, so um, traditionally speaking, we don't usually, in, in when we're playing traditional rhythms, like Fanga, some of the other rhythms that we've played, <clears throat> we have, we don't count like one, two, three, four, and then start, right? You know, it's kind of like, you know, like, like we do in uh, Western music. Um, we, what we use is what we call a signal or break, or um, it's like a, that's the count. That, the signal or the break is what makes the, uh, where you know where the tempo is. So we're going to learn the signal, and then we're going to play the rhythm, and then we're going to stop with the signal. Okay? So the signal for this sounds like, uh, signal for this rhythm sounds like this. Three, four. Okay? So normally what we would do is we would play the signal and then start the rhythm, like so. So now, let's learn the signal or the break, okay? 
for um, uh, for you all at home, you don't have to play. I usually start, it's usually started with a flam, but you can play without the flam at the beginning. So in drums, drum talk, a flam is when you play uh, two notes very, very close together. That's a flam. So anyway, so we could just start it with. So repeat after me and. Very good. So now I'm going to play this the signal, and then we're all going to start together. Okay? Is everybody ready? Are you ready? Ready. Oh, okay. Here we go. Was that too fast for everybody? How are you doing with this rhythm? Like, was that too fast? Did you understand what was going on? Because I think what we should do is try it again, just a little bit slower, for make sure so we can make sure that people are, um, are keeping up, okay? So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna do it a little bit slower, and then we're gonna move on, okay? How's that sound? How does that sound? Sounds good. Okay. <laughs> My first time here. Okay. Jesus. <laughs> okay. All right. Here we go. All right. We're going to do like go, 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 go. Okay. Here we go. One more time. And. So there's a question. Um, most are happy you've slowed down a bit. <laughs> okay. Um, and then a question from Keith. I have two conga drums on a stand. Does the larger drum go on my right or my left side? Well, that all depends, uh, Keith. Um, when playing congas, it depends on whether 
Sometimes it depends on whether you're left-handed or right-handed and what you prefer, okay? Traditionally speaking, um, traditionally speaking, um, if you're right-handed, traditionally the smaller drum goes between your legs and the larger drum would go on your right, um, on your right side. That's sort of traditional uh, Cuban way of playing. If you're left-handed, uh, if you're left-handed, your larger drum would go on your left side, right? If you're left-handed. Um, but then there's some people like I know there's some great conga players that play set up their drums like a pian like a piano. So on, on a piano. You have uh, on your right side is the higher register. And as you go down towards your left is the low register. And a lot of uh, conga players, one, one conga player, uh, really great conga player that uh, played that way was a, a, a player named Big Black. Um, he's, he's a very, uh, uh, very one of the great Conga players, he played like that. Um, also, my friend uh, Bashiri Johnson, you could look up those names. He plays like that. He plays with the higher drum on his right, even though he's right handed, and plays with the low drum on his left. So, um, and I, th I believe Potato, um, Carlos Valdez, Carlos Potato Valdez also uh, played like that. But anyway, that's, um, don't want to get off on a tangent. Um, right now, I would say that the most important thing is to play one drum well first. So I want to emphasize that. Learn how to play one drum well first. So I started out with one drum, one drum. And I learned how to play all of my, learned all of my sounds first. And then a year or two later, I, I added another drum. I was able to get another drum and then another drum. And then another drum, and then another drum. And then we have this. And then we have, <laughs> now this is only the drums that are upstairs. <laughs> I have other drums in the basement. Like, you know, anyway, lots and lots and lots and lots of drums, drums every place. Um, I think we have more drums than we, <laughs> we have anything else in this house. Um, we got more drums than I have clothes. <laughs> Um, so anyway, yeah, so learn how to play one drum uh, well, either the high drum or low drum. I would start on the lower drum first, like learn how to play your basses, your bass, your tone, your slack. Learn the basics first before going off and playing two or three or four drums. Um, you know, it's cool. You can experiment, of course, and create on your own. But, you know, get your fundamentals down first. Okay, so let's do this one more time. One more time, Fanga, and then we're going to move on because um, we don't have that much longer here. Okay, so let me know in the chat if you have any questions, um, and I'll try to answer them in real time while we're, we're in the program, okay? So let's do fungo one more time. We're going to start really slow and then and gradually speed up the tempo or the pulse, the tempo. All right. So one more time. Let me, let me just go over the break one more time because maybe that's confusing people. So if the, if the time is, you know what, can, can, can you play the cowbell? I should have brought my foot cow, my foot cow. So just like three. Okay? So just keep that. So that's the pulse. And 
and Okay. Thank you, like a metronome. You are. Excellent job. <laughs> you better time than me. Let me going all okay. off and spacing out. Anyway. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're gonna go 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 and bass. Chong chong chong. Bass bass chong chong. Bass chong chong chong. Bass bass chong chong. Okay, here we go and. And bass. Bass, bass, bass. particular rhythm, fanga, is what we call in 4-4. Four, four. four beats to the measure, quarter note gets the beat. That's what 4-4 four, four time means. So, gong, 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 that's in 4-4 four, four time. But there's other, what we call meters in music. Um, so we're gonna do a simple rhythm um, in what we call 3-4, or subdivided, it would be 6-8. One, two, three. One, two, three. Western music, they would call it waltz time. One, two, three. 
two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, right? So we're going to learn this rhythm. Um, pretty simple. It's, they have different variations to this rhythm. Um, some, some places they call it Isokota. This is also a part of uh, a rhythm from Ivory Coast. Uh, um, anyway, uh, I won't get into like deep details, but because um, I know I'm not teaching at the uh, university level right now. <laughs> so really simple rhythm. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna talk about uh, cross rhythms too. Okay, when we do this. Okay, so this rhythm is fairly simple. Again, you start with a bass bass sound, bass, right? One. So that'll be one. One. One bass sound. Two, two, two. That's it. So let's try that. Yeah, so bass. 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 Good. Bass. Okay, so now we're going to repeat it. All right? One, two, and three. 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 Okay? One, two, three. One, two, three. Base. Two, base. One, two, and three. Base. Okay, so does everybody understand that? Anybody having trouble with that? You good? I'm good. Okay, one, two, three. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna play a cross rhythm. What would we say, cross rhythm? It's still in three, but a different, but it's in a different meter. So, this one is slap, don't slap. Only three, only three, uh, Three uh, notes. So slap, tone, slap. So I'll play slap, tone, slap. So I'm playing right, right, left. Oh. Right, right, left. Slap, tone, slap. Slap.
Okay, so how do those fit together? Okay, so I'm about to show you. <laughs> okay, so so can you play the first one? The first one, two, one.
gotta have fun too. You got when you play music, <laughs> it's about fun. Uh, okay, so there's a question, or actually, it's a comment from Beverly. Hi, Beverly. What's going on? How you doing? Hope you're well. Uh, Beverly says, sometimes I use my right instead of my left hand, especially when the beat is faster. So um, sometimes it doesn't matter um, uh, which hand you use. I'm not sure which rhythm that you're speaking of, but there is um, certain rhythms when um, it's, for instance, this rhythm, when played faster, the one we just did. Like that rhythm. Sometimes it's better to play it like that rather than because then you're, it gives you motion. So this rhythm here, is played on a lot of different, um, especially West African rhythms uh, from uh, you know the Mande, Mande or Manding people, Malinke, um, lots and lots of, uh, of rhythms that have this part in it. It doesn't really matter as long as you could play the rhythm, you know. Um, so if you use your right more than your left, if you feel more comfortable, then do that. Um, there's a rhythm. Um, oh, wait a minute. Another comment. Keith, Keith loves this and wishes it was weekly. Others agree with him. Well, you know, I mean, you know, you want to make it weekly? It's okay with me. Oh, uh, no, I, 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 it would be nice if we made it weekly, but at any rate, um, something we could talk about and we could discuss. Okay, so um, for instance, there's a rhythm that we played before called cuckoo, um, and there's a lot of other parts to this, to this rhythm. But I mean, when sometimes people play it like this, Which is fine, but when it gets fast, when people play it faster, I have to use because if I play it, it's like all my right hand is doing all of the work. It's playing my my left hand. If I play, it's tiresome. Yeah, so I'm using I'm playing three notes with my right hand and only one note with my left hand. This way I'm playing two notes on my right, two notes on my left, and I don't get as tired. So, right? So it gives me more balance. So I'm using my left hand, I'm using my right hand, and you could play faster like that. So it depends on how slow the rhythm is too. You know, like sometimes if it's, you know, sometimes it may be hard to. That's fine, that's fine. So um, I hope you all enjoyed uh, this particular session. Um, this is the earthquake edition. <laughs> um, everybody's talking about the earthquake. Um, so I'm from Michigan. I'm from New Jersey, um, where that earthquake, you know. So I spent uh, all day yesterday making sure everybody was okay, and it turns out like, yeah, it was like, like a picture fell off the wall. So hopefully, there's no um, bad repercussions from that. Back east in my home state. 
um, uh, in New York, New Jersey area, you know, um, if you have any questions, please, 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 um, uh, write them down in the live chat. Um, and I will try to stay on a little bit longer so I can answer those. Um, the next scheduled, um, uh, rhythm circle, um, is going to be, um, June 8th, I believe. Anyway, it's, we had to wait two whole months. And that one is going to be actually, um, uh, it's going to be hybrid, live, and um, live in person, as well as virtually all over StreamYard, um, over Facebook. So um, I hope you enjoyed today's session. Um, I want to encourage everyone to um, play music whenever you can, learn music. If it's the drum, fine. If it's a piano, if it's a guitar. Um, I have um, older friends that um, are learning um, new instruments, instruments or always wanted to play an instrument and it really helps them. My sister is, 87 and she takes guitar lessons every week like it's like you know she, she'll call me up and tell me yeah i'm learn i learned how to play a i don't know any you know a Sant a song by santana i think she, she was talking about that the last time i spoke with her and um it t keeps her uh you know um, it keeps her active and her memory fresh Martine has an aunt who plays the bass. She plays the bass in church, and she's about the same age. Yeah. You know, about the same age as my sister, you know, in her late 80s. Anyway, um, you know, learning something new um, can really keep you vibrant and and keep your the cognitive wheels turning, right? Um, I'm trying to learn something new, and it's really hard. <laughs> um but challenging yourself is really good uh, for brain health. Drumming is great because it's also a bit aerobic. And, um, and if you want to get a drum, I would suggest like you can get a drum sort of, even if it's a little drum like this, it wouldn't cost that much, like a little djembe. This one is a, you know, nice little, little djembe that you can play and has, you know, or go larger, you know, and get something like this, a little bit bigger, you know, have drums all over the place. I think we have more drums than we have food in the refrigerator. <laughs> it's like drum, every time she turns, every time my wife turns around, Martine turns around, it's like there's another drum added to the family. Um, they give birth. And they, yeah, like they give birth. But especially, love this drum from Congo. This is from Congo, uh, called the Ngoma. Um, really beautiful drum with a beautiful deep sound. Um, the djembe, you can get a professional djembe, you know, obviously. But even no matter what instrument you play, learning an instrument, playing music is really important you know, uh, for brain health. So with that in mind, um, we will bid you adieu. Oh, wait a minute. There's another question. Uh oh, Jean is asking mm -hmm. if Martine is from the Bronx. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, referencing the, the, shirt. the sweatshirt. Oh, so this is Bronx International. This is Bronx from Bronx International High School. I taught there for uh, 12, about 12 years. I taught there. And um, when they gave me this, <laughs> I was much smaller. <laughs> they, they gave me this, uh, this sweatshirt, this hoodie. Um, and, um, but no, she's not from the Bronx. Um, but I taught in the Bronx. I'm back from back home, from back east. So. Um, uh, I've been here eight years and that was my gig. I love teaching there. 
I didn't love the commute, but anyway, <laughs> commute was crazy. Um, but yeah, I, I used to teach at Bronx International High School. Crazy. Yeah. And, um, and then there's one more. Linda has old drums. She'd like to know how to take care of them. So I'm not sure what, what kind of drums those are. Um, um, Linda, um, so it's kind of hard. So if, if, are they djembe drums? Are they conga drums? Are they like drum set drums? Uh, um, something that we could discuss. Um, I am on, um, okay. I am on uh, Facebook as Kevin Dalton hyphen Jones, Kevin Dalton Jones. There's so many Kevin Joneses, like I had to put the Dalton in there. Um, so people's like, Kevin Jones, which one are you? It's like 2,000, well, you know, 20,000 on Facebook. Anyway, um, so Kevin Dalton hyphen Jones, you can um, hit me up on Facebook with a question. Um, yeah. So if you have old drums, like if it's a conga drum or if it's a djembe, please let me know. Um, so with that, we wish you to have a great, uh, great weekend. Um, and um, please stay safe. Um, uh, and we will see you, um, some of you on, um, some of you hopefully in person that live here in Michigan. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, some on um, uh, live, stream. live stream. Thank you. Obviously, I need to play more drums for my cognitive abilities. <laughs> <No. laughs> anyway, uh, please, have, please stay safe, stay healthy, keep playing music, keep listening to music. Um, it, keeps, it keeps us young. It keeps us keeps us vibrant. So thank you so much and we'll see you next time.